you think back to the 90s, the horror elements of Spawn really made it stand out. All the spikes and the chains and the fire. It was something that was completely unique. They were the, basically the stars of the industry at that point. They're opening up a whole new sort of lane of, of business. This guy did a little bit of Spider-Man, created Spawn. He's got a toy company that makes toys. This is insane. I'm living up in Calgary, Alberta. I was a comic book fiend. And on this show, somebody's holding up a comic book page. The guy holding it is the artist, John Byrne. And from that moment on, I started the drive of trying to get into comic books. It's not hard to do something for eight hours a day if, if you want to do it or you enjoy it. You can't just be determined for the sake of being determined. There has to be some purpose that is doable in a fair-minded way. When he does like things a certain way, he sees it differently than everybody else, and you get it. That focus that I have can be a detriment to the point that I get so focused, I lose track of other things. I don't know how many people could get hundreds of rejection letters saying, you don't have it, give it up. They're going to always try and say, it's not possible, don't do it. Don't listen to them. I started Image Comics and was doing Spawn. It was a pretty small operation. It was just him and I. I don't think he had a master plan of creating his own comic book company. The original concept of Spawn was this guy who was in love with this woman and it's taken away from him. He just wants to go back and say goodbye one last time. He makes literally the deal with the devil. I still have some of those comic books back in, in my dad's attic. Not too often you see, you know, African-American superheroes, so I was always really you know, drawn to that. Todd did for toys what he did for comics. He came in and he brought extra detail, more devotion to how the toys actually look. There were people who like, stick to comics, but he went for it. I think Todd's force of will was able to make these things happen. He just kept going and going. Yes. It's amazing to see the fan interaction between Todd and his fans. That is the coolest thing to see. Without the fans, then we don't have a career. The fan is never a nuisance. He takes this drive to push boundaries, do things in a little different way, but always be there for the fans, and I think that's kind of the key to his success. Change in the world will always come from the outside. It will never come from the inside, because the people that are on the inside will always be beholden to the system. Take that inspiration and do it.